Getting started with developing applications for a mobile phone can be a complex task on some platforms, especially when it comes to building and testing the application on the device itself. The Librem 5 makes it way much simpler. You don't need to worry about things like cross-platform compiling because you can use the development tools directly on the phone. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start a new application development project, build it, and test it on both the desktop and the phone environment. For that matter, I'm going to attach a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor to my Librem 5. And I am going to use GNOME Builder, which is a very nice, full-featured development environment application. So let's get started. Once in Builder, you can choose to work on an existing application. There is a list of um, suggested GNOME projects. You can also clone a Git repository. You can work on a local project or start a new project, which is what we are going to do now. So let's give a name to this project. A unique application ID. Usually it's the um, reverse uh, domain name, so I'm going to use uh, Purism domain name and the, the name of the project is going to be stored in my projects folder for the language I have some choice and I am going to use Python it's going to be free software so um, the license uh, is perfect I can use uh, Git's uh, version control system with this project so I make sure that the GNOME application template is selected and I create the project. So here I am in the main project window. At the bottom I have a terminal that is pointing to my projects folder, uh, which is very useful for sending git commands. Um, I also have uh, the build output here. On the side are my source files. I'm not going to go into the details of making an application in Python because that is not the point of this tutorial. But I'm going to show you how this particular application is made because it's pretty simple. So uh, the main uh, function is the main entrance of my application. And it is instantiating an application object which is uh, inheriting um, GTK application object and when activated it is presenting my hello window which is the, um, the main window of my application. The code of this window is here and as you can see it is linked to a um, UI file which is um, UI layout template. Um, here, is, here it is, that is written in XML. So what I like to do is to open a new frame and have the code of my window and the layout side by side. One thing to note is that it is very simple to link UI elements to variables in the code. Um, here is um, an example already in the file. All I need to do is to create uh, a variable uh, that has the same, the exact same name as my um, UI element. In this case, it's a GTK label called label, and I load it through this uh, template dot child function. So we can do the same with um, the header bar for example. So I'm gonna create a new variable called header bar that I'm going to load with the same function. Here it is. So now let's change the title of the header bar. So I need to call self dot header bar dot set title and let's make hello Librem 5 
there you go I just save my file here and run the project so it's building now and here I am with my window with the, the new window title so now I can just test this window on my desktop environment which is um, what I'm doing now I can make it uh, full screen and see how it looks like full screen I can also uh, make it small and see what it looks like on a mobile screen but the most interesting part here is that I can actually drag the window to the phone and test it on the phone now this tutorial is just supposed to be a starting point that demonstrates the simplicity of getting started with developing and running an application on the Librem 5 from there it is just a matter of getting familiar with the GTK and libhandy APIs that will let you build nice adaptive applications that will run on both the desktop and the mobile environments.